Same color and sleeve. Colors are broken these. We've looked at the triangle choke, so maybe in here, uh, I'm only left hip. From this position, I'm trying to get this with an elbow. So I'm trying to get this position in this scene. Okay, once I have the open elbow, obviously from there, I'll just I do fall onto my back to get the triangle, but my goal as I fall onto my back is to get my hip behind the elbow. So it's this jump behind the elbow. Notice the way my back is on the mat. Immediately I want her control. And then from there, it's really all about getting the angle and getting the inner side of my right leg wrapped around, charged, charged, or and then the my Think about your triangle just like a, just like your rear naked choke. Right? I want to be getting the crook of my arm right around my chin. I mean, we're using our leg this time, so it's all about connection. If you've got really good connection in your triangle, you're going to finish it a lot quicker. So from collar and sleeve, we're here. It's all about getting that open elbow. Guards pulling it back tight to his body. I'm pushing on the hip. But when I actually get my back off the mat, I can get towards elbow further from his body. Okay? Then from that position, it's all about as I put my back on the mat, I'm getting my hip behind the elbow. So now he can pull his elbow back, and then it's all about cutting that angle, filling that space, getting my lower back off the mat, filling here, making sure there's no arm inside. And now from there you can grab your shin. Again, if you make connection, you can finish it just with connection. Or even not there. Um, that's what charge posture. Notice the way. Um, just when I get to here, and my back's off the mat, and charge posture, posture three. Notice the way. Uh, I can keep his elbow away from his body. Right. But watch what happens to Carl's elbow when he drops his head. He can pull it in. Does that make sense? So from this position, when I get to here, and my, um, I'm looking to shoot my hip behind, the second Carl drops his head, he can get his elbow back. It's only a um, couple of inches. The second he drops his head right here. So now from this position, I'm going to switch to the hip choke. So from there, my hand is going to sleeve. I'm just going to push Cara's head down and push it under the arms. From here, there's a few things we can do. Traditionally, it's taught that if this leg comes over, you can do that and stay upright. But in this um, variation, I'm going to bring my knee and the shoulder, and I'm going to throw my leg this way. Okay. Let's look at that again. That's awesome. So, from collar and sleeve, just to take the start. So we're here, Charlie keeps his elbow tight. So we've been looking at trying to get this triangle. So the foot's on the, on the shoulder. And now from there, as I push on the shoulder, I'm looking to get into this upright position. See the way there's an open elbow there? I'm about to shoot the triangle, but Char drops his head. Notice the way when he drops his head, I can't stop that elbow coming back in. And you'll not get the bite of the triangle. So from there, even though Char's um, head is tucked, sometimes they might have to drop this a little bit. So we don't want to be too deep with the loop choke because then you're not going to underneath. So I'll slide it down a little bit and then I want my wrist underneath his head. Okay. Once we're there, letting go of the sleeve, we just push the back of his head underneath my armpit and I want to be able to fill that space with the back of my hand. In this variation, my right leg is going to be coming over the shoulder and I'm going to finish on the left side. Okay? So, follow the sleeve, guards on his knees. We're going for that triangle as we look at his last technique. So, as I push, we know now that I can get a better open elbow. When I push the leg foot and I physically sit up, let's make Charles posture. He can't stop the triangle unless he brings his head down and his elbows back. 
from that position, I slide my hand down. Once I'm there, I want my wrist underneath the chin. Let go of the sleeve. Push his head, and I want to fill that space. The biggest mistake on the loop choke is you, you can see Charles the back of his head. I won't see it, just like your triangle. Okay, I'm here. Now my left hand is coming underneath, and I want the back of my hand against my forearm. And this leg is free. So again, from there, as I stay tight, I'm bringing the leg over. And Sean tries to bait onto his back from this position. These people will try and move out of the loop shot. So from here, looking for the triangle okay sometimes when you go for the loop choke so um, the second car drops his head before I snatch his head car posters again when he does I'm straight into the triangle again and then we're back to where we started so one will feed the other we're coming back so one here and on my side I push and get my my back off the mat, car drops his head. See that he's got that elbow underneath? So from there I just move this. Again, it's all about me filling that space and one leg movement over the back of his head. Snug that in, leg comes over. Good luck guys, yeah?